Hi everybody, uh, this is Alessandra Ziviani coming to you live from CPAC. Uh, today we are going to be learning how to make your face look sunken in uh, or gaunt, um, sickly, and it also can be used for like a zombie look if you're doing something for Halloween, something like that. Um, you, the look that was on the promo pick that really like sunken in face would be good for some sort of piece where you're, you know, playing, um, you know, a peasant or, you know, like uh, Bertolt Brecht's uh, Mother Courage, uh, something like that where you're, um, you know, on the brink of starvation. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm using uh, the Ben Nye Cream Foundation. This is uh, P42, it's ultra beige. It's actually about two skin tones lighter than my uh, natural um, facial face tone. And I'm just gonna apply it with a sponge. And I'm actually, I have a tank top on today because I'm going to be doing a lot of shading here in my uh, decollage um, because of the trying to get this kind of like starvation sunken look, which I'm gonna do on my collarbone and in my neck. So I'm gonna make up all the way down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And you can really see how much lighter it is than my original skin tone. Um, and that is just for giving that kind of um, pale look to your skin when you haven't you know, had a lot to eat. Um, if you are sick you the, and you're very sick and not, not feverish, but just sick, um, you tend to lose all the color out of your face. So that's kind of what I'm trying to mimic here. And honest, what I'm gonna do also is I'm not gonna go all the way underneath my eye right here, um, cause I wanna want that um, kind of reddish coloring to, to stay, cause I'm gonna actually put more of that into my eye later on with shadowing. But I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna go all the way up to the rim of my eye, so. And I'm just gonna go over my eyelids cause that's, I'm gonna protrude out some of my bone structure with highlight and shadow just to give the appearance that, you know, my face is, um, my bones are poking out and I've lost a lot of skin, a lot, a lot of um, fat to my face. So I'm just gonna continue doing this. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way down into my, and you know, there are times where you're gonna have to do makeup all the way down to your um, neckline. So you just wanna make sure you're getting it all the way around your jaw um, to the back of your hairline. So where your hair um, touches. And I'm just gonna pop my head up a little bit cause I can't see. <laughs> and I'm just gonna continue to get all this area. And I'm gonna do my collarbone right here because that's an important part of my hair. Move this part because we're gonna be shadowing this. And I'm just, I don't, I'm gonna blend it down. Probably I would have a, some sort of peasant shirt that would come down to here this part. Um, but, okay. Just trying to take a look at myself in the mirror over all of my lights and my video. Okay, and I'm also going, if you notice, I'm going over my mouth as well because uh, when you are sick or starving, you lose, the, you lose the colors in your lips too and I'm gonna do some more stuff in my uh, lips later on as well just to kind of put some, um, color in there but not like the correct color like purples and blues and things like that because also you know you do get a kind of a bluish you can when you're sick you can do this either I'm going to be doing it more like I'm starving so this gaunt look so I'm going to use more purples and blues but if you were to use something if you were doing like a, somebody who like had a sickness like smallpox or something like that you would use probably more reds and yellows um in your face which I can um Talk to you about as we go along. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, my face is pale. I've done, I've put this sh um, foundation on 
for the most part pretty evenly. I missed a little spot right here, but here we go. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm much paler than I normally am. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another brush and I'm using, this is a cream. This is also from Ben Nye. It's a uh, gray. And so I'm going to be using this as my shadow um, for my whole face. So I'm just going to drop it in there and I'm actually going to, it's going to look like a lot because, well, it's just going to look like a lot at first, but, um, you know, when you're doing this kind of look of sickness or like a really sunken face, you do need a little bit more pop of the color because the, the shadows are more dramatic. And you'll see I'm taking it in an L shape, which is normally what we would do if we were doing like a man's uh, facial look. But at this point, if it's more, where like if I do a fish face, you can see where the depression would be in my own face if I were to, let's say, lose a, a bunch of like facial weight. So I'm just going to kind of get it in there and I'm blending a little bit too, but I am going to keep one part pretty strong and gray right and right in here. And um, once we once we powder it, um, it'll make a difference as well. I'm going to do my other side. There we go. And I'm just kind of really getting it in there, laying it down. And then I'm going to pull it down with my finger. I'm just kind of blending it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my jawline. So I'm going to go underneath. I'm also going to try to kind of make it a little sharper which I'm just gonna kind of cheat it out a little bit. So when I say I'm cheating it, I'm kind of putting it more where the highlight should go, like on the top of the jawline. And I'm doing that just to make it look a little bit more angular. And then blending it back down under the jawline, just to make it, just to make the edges look kind of, sh to sharpen my edges, to make it look like I really am losing a lot of weight in my face. I'll keep it like that. I'm going to do right here because that's going to give the impression of deepening too. And I'm just going to kind of pat it down a little bit. Just like that. I'm also going to do right in here my Cupid's bow. Uh, I like the way that this kind of looks too because it's giving this ashen look to my face. I'm going to do a little bit here as well. Typically we wouldn't put it right here, um, but we, I am going to do it just a little bit to then heighten the fact that it's um, really a deep, de deeper depression right here than normal. So I'm kind of just doing a very light tinge of gray kind of just heightens the overall darkness of my face. Um, <clears throat> before I go up into my eyes, I'm going to do my neck. Okay, so the neck is fun. You kind of like get to make all these like weird. So you can see this depression here in my collarbone. And if I go like this, you can see these depressions naturally in my neck. So I'm just going to follow those depressions um, with the gray and just kind of really make them deeper and pull them down like this like that let it go here because i see some little depressions under my chin too so i'm gonna go like that and i'm just kind of blending them in if i see that they're looking a little too strong but already you can see the difference it's very kind of stark and when i go back in with the highlight it's even going to be um more so this is where the adam's apple would be we're not going to do that because that's for male makeup but we are going to do right here this kind of uh, right up at the beginning of your sternum and i'm just going to kind of it's almost like a circle here and so i'm just going to Kind of do that in there and then i'm also right now i'm moving forward and actually making the natural depression in my 
collarbone so I can follow it. And I want to make it deep on my collarbone because I want to use a lot of, I want to really pump the color in there because it'll, it will make a difference in terms of what it looks, you know, of looking realistic. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. I'm just trying to get my collarbone. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit there. And I'm just going to blend just a little bit. You can really see the definition of what that does, you know. And I'm just kind of following it. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> so got my collarbone done. Now I'm going to do my eye sockets. So here we go. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use the natural curve of my socket and I'm not going to go past that. I just kind of want to go to that line and kind of up like very like raccoon like and I'm gonna go around actually here you can see I'm just gonna get up into the close to my eye lid like that and I'm gonna paint the whole lid and come around and really deepen this socket like that hi Chris how are you so here we go so I'm deepening the socket and then, so we're gonna do all of this with cream makeup first, and then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna powder my face to set the cream, and then we're gonna go back in with all of our powder colors, like our purples and our blues and everything. So I'm gonna do again this way, I'm following the crease of my eye line. I'm not going past it, because I want there to be definition of, you know, the highlight, which is we're gonna pop the cheekbones. The eyes get sunken in during sickness or starvation so that is kind that is what i'm trying to mimic hi lori here we go and i'm still keeping as you can see i'm keeping that redness right around the like kind of base of my eyelid i want i want to keep that because i am going to put some red in here later and i just kind of want to keep it to accentuate it so i'm not putting makeup like all around my eye like some of the other looks we've used before okay so this is good for now I'm also going to extend it down to my nose to do the shadowing of my nose since I'm here it's gonna be it's like a big it's like a whirly letter P or you know kind of what you're going for and I am going to go around my nostril a little bit I'm also going to deepen kind of around here because it would my whole nose everything would be sunken so I'm kind of just doing that I am going to do my nasal labial fold which is what we did uh, for old age makeup too I'm just going to do a touch so I'm going to smile and remember the shadow comes upward so I'm going to just kind of go like that draw that line and kind of blend it up onto my cheek blending it up for now and I just want to do it really lightly for now because I'm going to come back in with powder and I'm going to do it on this side and that's just to give you know again it's we're using it in this way it's not for aging it's to show the, the depression of your face from the loss of weight now I'm going to do my forehead the way the skull is, you've got your, the most protruding part is your forehead. So what happens is you get sunken in in your temples, your temples right here, and then this little area right above, and then also kind of up in here. For men too, you will have a sunken protrusion here because the the eye, the brow, the brow bone is already more uh, protruding on a man. So I'm just going to do, this is my temple temple and then I'm going to actually do up here too it's a kind of a bigger one and I'm going to just blend it up into my hair 
and it looks like a lot of color, but you know, we're going to put powder on and then we're, we are blending it as well. So you do want, you want to not worry about being too heavy handed with the color because it is what we are trying to literally change the way the face is structured, the way it looks. So you will need a lot of um, pigment to be able to do that. Okay. And I am going to also, hi mom. I'm going to do a little depression down here. Just a little discoloring because of, I'm going to put a highlight here. And I'm also going to do a little depression right here. Just like that. I'm just going to fix my nose a little bit. I need it a little deeper, a little darker. And again, I'm using a gray, um, you know, instead of a, a traditional shadow because I'm trying to get the impression of like an ashen look of my face. So now that's pretty good. I have my collarbone and I have my neck done and my face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to powder and I'm going to put a pretty heavy amount of powder on because the, I don't want the cream to move. It's already getting hot under the lights. So here we go. I'm just going to powder myself. And that's setting all of the makeup so it's not going to move. And so we have a nice foundation to build um, the rest of the powdered look we're going to do. So I'm going to powder my whole neck as well because I don't want any of this to move. Now, if you were, say, doing a character that wasn't supposed to necessarily be starving, that was supposed to be, like, sick with something, you could do this in, in reds reds and browns like a terracotta color and then you could also even do your base makeup with a slight yellow uh tinge to it make yourself look a little jaundiced um <clears throat> you know whatever whatever spice you want for your illness um you could also if you're going to do a zombie look with this you could do it in um you could do it in grays and blues or you could even put it in black as well so what I'm using now, this is kind of, um, this is just a basic palette, it's LA Color Palette. It's got mostly purples in it, purples and browns. Um, I'm going to use it because it has no kind of um, glitter stuff to it. And I'm just going to take the deepest purple that's in the palette and I'm going to go over this line right here under my eye. So, and I'm just going to draw the line and I'm just kind of doing this to pump up the the look of this eye and I'm gonna maybe put a little bit of the color in this deeper socket part because I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two distinct bags under my eyes this is the deepest one which is why I'm using the purple color and the next one I'm gonna do is with red so like that I'm also gonna put a little bit in my cupid's bow to heighten that look and I'm also gonna cut do the nasal labial fold here with the purple and you know this is just you can see what it's doing it's like paint it's like painting it's like oil painting you're just laying in a different color so that it, it adds the definition you know I started with this almost transition color of gray and now I'm putting in this deeper color of purple to really pop and show the definition of what's going on I'm going to do a little bit on my nose as well and you can really see how what that just did it just kind of like whoa made it really made my nose really more sunken in than it was before and I'm going to do it here I'm actually going to bring it up to my eye a little bit because I want to continue that look of sunkenness. And I'm going to go around my nose right here. I'm going to put a little underneath it to just really make it look sunken in. Okay. I'm also going to do just a little bit under my eye in this corner because this would be a dark, a deep spot under here. 
So I'm just kind of deepening it. And this is what's fun about kind of this kind of makeup is that you know the basics. As of now, we've been doing this a lot. So we've talked about, you know, the principles of highlight and shadow and where they have to go on your face. So now when you get to a point like this with this kind of makeup, like a zombie look or anything like this, you can really feel free to be creative and add color where you where you see and it's fun it's really fun to kind of experiment it with you know with it and I, see i'm just i'm deepening this i'm not going very far the, the gray is like spread really far i'm just kind of doing a really hard, like fine line right in the depth of depths of the hollow of my cheek and which i'm also going to do here in my collarbone because it's a really, this is going to be a really deep, I want this to appear very, very deep. So I'm just doing that, deepening it with the purple. So you can see the difference. And then I'll do it here as well with the, and that's what I'm going to go through here and do. And then I'm going to come back in with um, highlight. I didn't use highlight in the cream because the, base makeup that we used was so um, light. So I just wanna, I'm gonna lay on a, a lighter color of powder uh, instead of, you know, messing with cream. Cause the more you put, the more cream you put on the, your face, the more chance you have. First, the blending is, is difficult because it, your face gets hot and it's cream and it wants to move. Um, so it, you know, it's just a little bit easier if you just use as little cream as possible and then f fix everything with powder because then it's able to stay set. And I'm just kind of, you now I'm just making my shadows for myself so I can see them. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do my other cheek. Just like that. I'm going to put a little bit more in here just to deepen it. I'm also going to do a little bit. I'm going to take this area of my eye socket above my eyelid and deepen that just like in a, a ring, you know, just to show how, how depressed my eye socket is. So I'm going to take it from the center of my eye and I'm just going to pull it outwards like that just to really get a sense of how deep the deep the socket goes like that go and then i'm going to just do a little bit of my temple a little bit up here just to kind of heighten the look cuz i'm losing a little bit of it since the powder. So I'm just gonna, you know, get it up in there. I'm just blending with my finger. I'm gonna do a little bit there just to show a little bit of shadow on my crown. Okay. So, oh, and I'm gonna do a little here. Forgot this spot. Okay. All right. So now um, I'm pretty happy with the way that I look kind of sunken in. Um, so now I'm going to add a little bit of color. I'm going to add a little bit of red. Um, I'm using this kind of muted red right here. You could also use something like this, this, this color. Let me open it. Ah. Kind of like that. Um, this is just uh, from a basic uh, NYX you know, get it at the drugstore, which I always think to, if you, you know, if you can save a little money, because some of the, the Ben Nye stuff is pretty expensive, some of it. So, um, you know, for certain things, you, it's definitely fine to use um, drugstore, drugstore stuff. And right now I'm just adding a little bit of like redness under my eye. Just to give a little sense of the kind, like being sick as well as 
you know, being starving. So and that's kind of just going from the inner part of my eye. I'm making a little, there's a little bag under my eye. So I'm just kind of following the line, this kind of half moon thing under my eye like that. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of powder of red on my lips, just a touch, like in the inner part, like here, to almost give it like a chapped look. like that. And then what I'm going to do with my lips is I'm going to take a brown eye pencil and I'm going to kind of take parts of my lip where I'm going to outline it and blend. Especially around the corner of my mouth. And I'm just going to blend it into my lip a little bit. It gives a sunken look. It also gives like a, you know, that lack of color. It gives like a tinge. I'm gonna do it to the tips of my cupid bow, like that. And over here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually going to draw some of these lines um, uh, make it seem like my lips are cracking. And I'm just making funny faces with my lip so I can find some of the cracks. And I'm going to blend them. Like that. And then I'm also going to do a little, just a little bit of extra foundation, kind of just like stippled onto my lip to make it look like dead skin. I'm gonna go back with the red a little bit just to add a little, just add a little bit of color like that. So they kind of look sick. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my shat, my highlight, and I'm going to go over my face a little bit. I'm using, this is from e.l.f., and I'm just using the brightest um, kind of cream that they have. It, this is a powder, but like a creamy white color. So I'm just going to apply it to, you know, the places where we apply highlight, which would be the highest points of your face. I'm doing my nose. And it's really just to make it look like I'm really protruding a lot. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight here. I'm going to do a highlight on my chin to show the depth of the deepness. And I'm, I'm actually going to probably go back in to my chin and make it a little deeper, darker here. So here we go. I'm going to do my jawline. And it really does make a difference, the pop of color. I'm going to do a little bit here on my chin on my cheeks just because i really want to sh show that how deep the difference is so i've skipped i have my foundation there's the line i skipped and then i went a, like a half inch above that to get just the on the meat of my cheek i'm also going to do here the natural place where we put highlight anyway but I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to do like right up here. Do it on the other side. Mm -hmm. And I'm all, now I'm going to do kind of this area because your eyebrow bone would pop out. 
So I'm going to pop my eyebrow out a little bit. I'm doing underneath too, just because to give it'll definitely give the um, definition to the deep kind of socket of what's happening, you know, to my sunken eye. So I'm doing the under, and I'm also doing above, just right above here, this kind of this area, and I'm going to do a little bit here. I'm actually going to get a bigger brush for that a fluffy brush. I'm going to do this part of my forehead. Okay, and I'm just gonna come back in with a dark, um, darker purple. I have this dark purple. I wonder what this will look like. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. This is a new purple I'm using, so I kind of like it. It's darker. It's good. I'm gonna do it under my eyes too. Yeah, I like this purple. Actually, that would be a good purple down here. Yeah. Uh-oh. I have to do it with either like this or with my left hand. Ah! <laughs> here we go. Now, oh, and I forgot. I need to do some highlight down here. I'm just, I'm, again, this is what I'm just deepening my lines down here. To really make it look like I've gone through something. Here we go. I'm going to put a little, now I'm going to go back to my neck because I did forget to highlight my neck. So here we go. I'm going to put some highlight down in the base of this because the sunken part of it will make it, it'll make it pop. And I'm going to go ahead and do... The major parts of my neck here. In between these spots. I'm going to do a little bit in here. And this is looking pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm just kind of going over things. I'm like sit, taking a, a look at myself from kind of farther away so that I can see if I'm missing anything. But I think this is looking pretty, um, pretty good. This would look really, this is going to look really good under the lights. Um, And again, if you wanted to do a zombie look, just make it darker. Just take blacks and things like that. And if you're wanting to look flushed or feverish, let me show you just really quickly if I were to put a little bit of red in my cheeks, what that does. So I'm just going to do a little kind of sick, sick cheek because I'm kind of splotchy, let's say. To the tip of my nose because that's where you get red when you're sick and splotched. I splotch you up in here. And that's kind of, you know, it kind of, you can kind of see the difference there. And um, so if like you were doing a fever, you just substitute the gray for browns. And you probably wouldn't do as much here, but yeah. So there we go. This is the look for a gaunt, sick, or zombie. <gasps>
And it's really, um, you really can see the, it's me far away, like, this kind of, like, sickly ashen kind of, you know, say, I don't know, haggard peasant indentured servant, you know, from the times of feudalism. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I've been watching, been watching Merlin on Netflix, and a lot of the characters from uh, the villages outside the kingdom, these people who are, you know, look like, kind of like this, this makeup, which is why I kind of wanted to do it. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I will have everything next week to do uh, my ridge line uh, with scar wax. So you can see how you can make a fantasy look with the scar wax and not just use it for things like scars or um, extra prosthetic. You can actually use it to create a whole different um, kind of fantastical look, uh, which is really cool. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Please um, check us out on Facebook. We do have a Injustice Festival that is going to be um, coming up in September, which we'd love you guys to watch. It's going to be, um, it's all new works, all written by Sonoma County Playwrights. Uh, there's going to be one work per night for a week. Um, it will be free online. And then uh, if you miss it, though, you can buy tickets um, and watch the compilation. Um, we are doing we are doing donations. Uh, it's a it's a fundraiser for the theater, but it's also a fundraiser for um, the ACLU. We're uh, donating 20 percent uh, of our uh, donations to them. Uh, so please, it's for a good cause. Um, that's going to be in the middle of September, September, the weekend of September 11th through, I believe, the 20th. Um, so check us out. We're we, um, promoting it soon. Uh, follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. Subscribe. Yay! All right. I'll see you guys next week for Makeup Monday. Bye.